Welcome back. Uh, now we will study about uh, a satellite image or a digital image. A satellite image is also called as a, a digital image and uh, this is uh, it is um, composed of pixels or grid uh, grid cells call it as grid cells or pixels and each pixel has a digital number which represents spectral reflectance value. We have to understand this is the satellite image it's a black and white image and this is how a human eye sees an image like it sees that some water body a linear feature having a reflectance in blue is going across this and probably this could be the agriculture but when we zoom a small portion this portion of this digital image we can see a whole lot of numbers and and the line passing through here is this is the dark line which is passing through uh, this uh, on this image and if you observe that this these dark pixels which signify the water body have the low reflectance values because each value uh, this when we zoom in it is composed of a grid of cells or digital numbers and each cell has a value which uh, you know which is called as a digital number and if you observe that this uh, these dark pixels have a lower value compared to the pixels that are adjoining them you can see 104 104 100 100 106 and here you can see 38 32 40 41 43 means uh, there is a high uh, um, uh, reflectance on this side but here absorption takes place on this side which means it it could be water this is how we uh, you know uh, can see a digital image and express the things uh, from the digital numbers now this is uh, the amount of energy uh, this uh, these are different kinds of the satellite image can be viewed in different bands it has band 1 band 2 band 3 depending upon the sensor depending upon the um, characteristics of that sensor depending upon the range of the wavelengths that it is going uh, to uh, you know have the image um, recorded in different uh, wavelengths so uh, you can see these bands when stacked over one another uh, forms a composite image so the amount of energy reflected intensity in is recorded for each pixel in each band and the amount of energy that is when you see the top band band one it has some numbers and below it is band two which is recorded in a different wavelength and below it is a band three which is recorded in a different wavelength each pixel below uh, in in uh, you, you know corresponding uh, to a pixel in each band uh, a value is recorded which may vary from band to band but certainly the amount of energy reflected is recorded and that is going to vary depending on the band means depending on the wavelength now with, uh, talking about uh, resolution what is uh, resolution resolution we often encounter this word in our mobile phones that i will get a mobile phone of high resolution or i'll get a i have a mobile phone of low resolution so we resolution in, in, in normal terms we when we zoom in the we capture the image or we capture the photo from a mobile phone and we keep on zooming in and a point comes when we start to see the pixels the gridded pixels square pixels and the image is not able to zoom in after that point uh, of uh, you know zoom level so we that we can understand that uh, the uh, uh, maximum extent to which it has um, uh, uh, got the image has got zoomed we can see that it it has a resolution of this much and some mobile phones some high-end phones will have a better resolution compared to the low-end phones which may have a weaker resolution so what we how we are going to define resolution resolution is the ability of system to render the information at smallest discreetly separable quantity in terms of distance which is applicable to mobile phones because it is giving you the spatial resolution and wavelength band of electromagnetic radiation we call that as spectral resolution and time which is called as temporal resolution and radiation that is called as 
radiometric resolution now uh, keeping in mind this definition we are going uh, to know in detail about these different kinds of resolutions